The vibe just isn't right. We all have to struggle to get through this. We all get through this. We're going to be a great, a great business area for sure. Big orange cones and building materials line 19th Street. And for the small businesses that make up the Vibe District great, well, it's hurting their bottom line. That's our top story this Monday night. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Nicole Livis. And I'm David Allen. This was never going to be a quick project. The city started it in 2018 as a way to make 18th and 19th Streets an area where people can walk as well. It was seen as a good investment for the growing arts district. But back in August, we heard from restaurant owners who told us sales were down 10% over the summer. And now it's winter and things aren't getting any better. Allison Basil starts us off tonight in Virginia Beach. Her story, all new at 11. It looks like a war zone most of the time, so I, I know when it gets done, it's going to be wonderful. Zoe's Steak and Seafood is coming up on 11 years in Virginia Beach this March, but for the past few months, staff have not felt like celebrating. Construction started July 1st, 2018. We're down 30% that month, and it's just been a tough, tough road ever since the construction started. Zoe's co-owner Mark Sauter says winter is their busy season, but right now they face a 40% loss in sales. We're on the verge of losing some of our staff because if we're down 30, 40 percent, the service staff who work for tips, they're down 30, 40 percent. The city is working on the street, widening sidewalks and added outside lighting. Sauter appreciates the improvements, but says it creates obstacles for customers. The sidewalks are wider, the lights up and down the street look beautiful. Uh, it's still a little bit dangerous out there because of, it's not all leveled out. Other restaurants like Beach Bully say construction has been tough, but they have catering. The caterings have pretty much pushed us through everything. Um, we just did a 200 uh, wedding, 200 people wedding this past weekend. Zoe's got a push of their own over the summer when it was named one of America's 100 best wine restaurants by the Wine Enthusiast magazine. It was a huge increase for a couple months and you could see it, you could feel it. Sauter says sales didn't last, but says support from regulars and help from Vibe District businesses keeps their glasses half full. Kind of banding together as a community and doing some joint advertising, let people know we are still open come on down here. He hopes the finished product fills everyone's doors in a few months. We can be done by September, then the ratchet us right to our great season. We, we, we're looking forward to that for sure. All right, Allison is following this story from the newsroom tonight. It's been a long road for Vibe District business owners for sure, but Allison, when will the city complete the project? Yes, David, some restaurant owners say it should be done around September, although I could not find an exact date on the city's website. However, it should open right along with the new Virginia Beach Sports Center in November. Guys.